This is the HC SR04 sonar. It's a double transducer sonar, pretty much like the Ping. Kind of looks like the Ping. It's also like the SRF05 from Deventic. However, there's one major difference between this sonar and the Ping and the SRF05. Well, it's its price. So this sonar costs about $1.50 a unit if you buy them in bulk. And you can get them on eBay, and you can get them on Right Hobbies, and you can get them on a bunch of other places. So. I bought a whole bunch of these because I don't know how long this is going to last. Uh, so I decided that I would try to get it working with my beagle bone. Not because getting a sonar working is difficult, but because getting a sonar to work with a Linux computer was an interesting challenge. So over here I have my beagle bone. And the beagle bone is a 720 megahertz ARM Cortex A8 CPU. Uh, make So it's ARM V7, so it supports all the cool hard float features, runs the modern Linux kernel, runs pretty well, has 256 megs of RAM, however they just released a new BeagleBone, and that's the BeagleBone Black, and it's $45, has a 1 gigahertz CPU, half a gig of DDR3, built-in storage, it's pretty cool. So BeagleBone's just going to get more available. This cost me $90 a year ago, however the new one's $45. So. All of the hardware and drivers from the old BeagleBone, this one, still work with the new one. So I'm waiting on my new one. But I didn't stop me from getting my sonar working with my BeagleBone. So one of the interesting challenges with doing hardware, especially something like a sonar with the BeagleBone, is that Linux is not a real-time operating system. Therefore, you have no time guarantees on reading interrupts or I.O. pins. So it makes using this sonar pretty much impossible. However, the BeagleBone has an interesting uh, feature and in that it, is, it has two microcontrollers called PRUs embedded into its CPU. These PRUs, or programmable real-time units, have access to the full memory map of the, G, of, the, of, the, um, of the CPU. So you can, the PRUs can access the GPIO controllers, they can access memory, and they're really, really fast. So both of them, there's a pair of them, and they both run at 200 megahertz. And every single instruction that they have executes in one clock cycle. So you know f very accurately how long um, programs are going to, uh, how long like delays and programs are going to run, etc. So it took me a while to get this working, mainly because um, drivers and things, and they're not very well documented. However, documentation is improving. There is a package, just to search BeagleBone PRUSS, or Programmable Real-Time Unit Subsystem, and you'll get a link to a GitHub and some blogs about how to use them. So I'll have this up on my blog real soon, but I thought I'd show you uh, the sonar. So a couple of you are probably asking, there doesn't look like there's much hardware here. Well, that's um, there's not. However, the sonar is a 5 volt device and the BeagleBone's a 3.3 volt device. If you feed 5 volts into the BeagleBone, it will not be very it won't be very happy with you and it's probably going to break. So one of the interest one of the cool features of the IO pins on the BeagleBone is that they all have programmable pull-ups, pull-downs or just direct drive. Um, basically this lets you reduce the amount of components on your development board or whatever you're trying to use. So to convert the voltage the Basically, this sonar has an input and an output. The input causes the sonar to trigger an ultrasonic pulse, and the echo it, um, has a pulse on it that's proportional to the amount of um, time it took the, pulse, the um, sonar ping to travel. So, look at the board. All you need is base, the echo going into a transistor, and that transistor's collector being attached to an I.O. pin on the beagle bone and the emitter being attached to the ground. And the I.O. pin has a pull-up enabled. So this a lot this does invert the sonar pulse but or the echo pin so just beware when writing your code but because I'm using the programmable real time unit I can get um sub microsecond accuracy you can actually since each since it runs at 200 megahertz and each instruction takes a clock cycle technically you have a 5 nanosecond um resolution however it's not the the state of the echo pin doesn't change it takes about 50, nan 50 nanoseconds to change. So, well, so as, as it stands right now, the code for the PRU, there's no C compiler or anything like that for them. So you're stuck using assembly. 
So the compiler is free and it's available. Um, there's a GitHub for it, I'll post a link. But essentially, this code drives the sonar. It, it measures the pulse, it fires a pulse, waits for the echo, and return, it stores the amount of time in a particular location in memory. And then there's a, a C program, and it goes along with it. Um, basically, just initialize the PRU, load the binary into the PRU, and then just wait for an event and read the memory. So, basically, this, and you probably have seen stuff online about people trying to use centers with Beagle Bones and getting um, like maybe f half a meter resolution because of the um, the sonar, uh, because of the real time, the Linux not being real time. But here we get very accurate results. So, run our demo. Basically, the uh, the wall is about two meters away from me, roughly under that. It's 100 175 centimeters. I've measured it, so it's pretty accurate. So if you uh, look over here, you can see the uh, pulse on the oscilloscope. And, um, it's here, so sitting in front of it on a rolling chair, you can uh, see the uh, oscilloscope. It's more. There you go. So I encourage you to take a look at the PRU on the Beagle Bone. It's pretty cool.